Good afternoon, everybody. Today we'll be presenting our Poisson distribution lab. This lab was created and presented by Angel Vasquez, Aaron Ruiz, Jesus Gonzalez, and Luis Guadarrama. For the collection of our data, we recorded ongoing traffic at the intersection of South Marietta Parkway Southeast and Cobb Parkway Southeast on Tuesday, February 6, 2024. The recording was done at 4.30 p.m. while also having dry conditions and clear skies. We will be conducting our analysis on the three northwest bound lanes on South Marietta Parkway Southeast, as well as the left turn lane going southbound on Cobb Parkway Southeast. The Poisson's distribution is described as a statistical tool used to predict the number of occurrences of an event, such as vehicle arrivals, within a given time interval. This is often applied to estimate the number of vehicles arriving at an intersection during a cycle length. For us, we will be looking at vehicles arriving for 20 second intervals for 100 consecutive intervals. We will discuss the application of the Poisson distribution in assessing signalized intersections, and we will be looking to understand whether traffic arrivals follow a random pattern or are influenced by an external factor. Our group collectively worked together to collect the footage of our project study points. I went through and created our introduction, objective, and the effort statements. Angel then went through and collected all raw data from the footage. Luis then took the raw data and created all key graphs and charts needed to produce our results. Jesus analyzed the results and created the discussion and conclusion. The data was recorded in intervals of 20 seconds for a total of 100 intervals. The intervals were grouped based on the amount of cars they had, which determined how, fre how frequent the number of cars reappeared in the data. The vehicle frequencies were between 0 and 24 vehicles. A total of 803 vehicles were observed throughout the 100 intervals. The following table shows some of the cumulative results from the data. The cumulative probability is 17, which shows a low likelihood that the results can be replicated. For the discussion, the observed frequency distribution and poisons distribution was plotted side by side for visual check. As you can see here on the table, the mean is not close to the variance per observed data. In conclusion, we believe the Poisson distribution would not be effective in indicating driver behavior due to the fact that there are too many internal and external factors that affect driver behavior. We believe it would be good at eliminating random traffic flows because you can use it to predict traffic flows in the 20 second intervals versus the observed frequency that we used. And to find the minimum green time in for intersections, you could also use this due to the fact that you could find the minimum amount of cars coming through a 20 second period and use that as a basis for uh, minimum green time. And also do the same thing for left turn lanes as well, because we took data on left turn lanes as long as the lanes when using this lane group. When using observed frequencies versus theoretical frequencies, we always believe observed frequencies is better due to the fact that it's actual data and actual cars coming to the intersection versus theoretical, which can only help us predict of how flow and frequency is going to adjust at the intersection. These are our references used for this lab. Thank you for your time and have a good afternoon.